Boston, Providence, and the surrounding New England areas. We have a major alert for you, and we ain't talking about the snow. No, nope. We're talking about a low-ticket warning. Come out and see the live show, baby. Yeah, guys, it's a great way to introduce your friends to the show. Grab the crew, grab the homies, grab the bozos, come out. Uh, there's still some tickets left for December 6th in Providence at the second show. Out of the, the late show in Boston has a few tickets left. Get them now. Let's party. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of... Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're good to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs putting up the Christmas decorations okay. that she stole from the neighbor's house. All right, good for her. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. God damn it. One of these days. <laughs> he is the CEO of Are You Garbage? She is is an international businessman. He is not to be trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. Gang, give it up for KJ. It's Kevin James Ryan. Let's go. <laughs> hey, gang, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, you subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Through the roof. Over 100,000 Cooking. over there. And goddamn Thank YouTube you, gang. Waiting on my plaque, baby. Woo, melt that thing down. Let's go. <laughs> and then, obviously, the greatest goddamn website of all motherfucking time. Sweet Lord. www.patreon.com slash are you garbage gang. Check it the fuck out. Love that money. Love that money. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. Crosses the T's and dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. T-Bone. What's up, dudes? What's up, buddy? Now that we gotta, we gotta mind our P's and Q's on this one, this broad's got all L.A. back in her ride. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Got a real high society lady in here. <laughs> ah, what are you talking about? This is gonna be a cakewalk. <laughs> this, is a, this is an open and shut case, I'm Let's pretty sure. Let's go. <laughs> Gang, we couldn't be more excited, and I mean, could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest here with us today mm-hmm. for the first time. She is a very funny stand-up comedian, actor, and podcaster. You may have seen her in, but not limited to. You got Apartment 9. You got Getting Dug with High. You mm-hmm. got Pop Pie. Life Fails. Tales from the Trip. You got Shank. You have Lights Out with David Spade. Gotcha, you have How to Do Shit with Guido Gagoots, which I love that show. <laughs> and you also have the Joe Rogan Experience, and she is the host of the Shank Podcast. Podcast and the co-host of this bitch podcast, but the big question in his mind today is: She garbage? Let's go real quick. Known associates: Kim Cogden, trash of the, of the South Florida Cogdens, <laughs> and then she is also a very close associate with a young man by the name of Josh Potter, who also uh. refers to himself. As the roach. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you call a slam dunk gang. But give it up for Sarah Wineshank, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Hi. Little LA star power in here. Thanks for coming. That's what I'm talking oh about. Oh my God. I'm so excited to be here, you guys. There's not a chance in hell you can roll with those with Kim and Potter. They and are. be any <laughs> and have somewhat of any class, and you gotta be trash. <laughs> you gotta be <gasps> guilty by association. Exactly. Yes, yeah, oh, it's like Rico man. charges. <laughs> <laughs> you get one, you get them all. They all go down. <laughs> yeah, those are two literally of my best best friends. Yeah, so, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Plus, Potter kept going to you for the shrooms at Skankfest. So I was like, yeah, this kid's. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> this kid's in deep. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, ship the backstory. What's the backstory? Where are you from? Where are you, you from, from L.A.? I'm from L.A., but I'm really? from the Valley. Yikes. Oh, so the Valley's, yikes. you know, That's, more I don't, trashy. We I, don't dish it. I, I want to know. I don't, so that is the trashier. The people in A go like, in L.A., it's like, ooh, you're from the Valley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it an okay. actual Valley? Can I ask that? Yeah. It's, it's on the other side of the mountain or something, right? Yeah. It just If you are in West Hollywood, you just would drive through Laurel Canyon, and then you come to the trasher. The oh, trashier side. That's where it is. They the did valley. it in Entourage. Remember they went to the van the, and oh. drama's like, get me out of here. We're in the valley. Yeah. <laughs> they go to the yeah. valley, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what'd your parents do? Give us the whole scoop. Okay, my dad's a lawyer. All right. Ambulance chaser? What is it? What kind of lawyer? Construction. A construction Real. lawyer. Construction and business litigation. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's pretty good. <laughs> now you can't leave. Yeah. That kind of shit. Okay. We all take right. it all back. 
You're not trash. Yeah. Thank you. And your dad seems like a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's a lawyer. Okay. My mom does his bookkeeping. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds like my family, so you're trash. <laughs> <laughs> the office is in the garage for sure. <laughs> okay. Huh. Your dad's a lawyer, and you're, so they always worked together growing when you were growing up. Yeah. All right. Did he do good? He did good? Yeah. He did he good. He as well, yeah. Okay. Brothers and sisters? I have a younger sister. Okay. All right. How far apart are you guys? Uh, she's three years younger than me. She's three years younger. Was it public school, private school? Private Catholic school. Really? Uh, See, maybe why I'm that? Radar's maybe. off here. Oh, yeah. Were the public schools real bad, and that's it was that, or was it a religious thing? No, my dad's a Jew. My mom's Catholic. <laughs> okay. They're like Catholic schools cheaper. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Jew side come through. <laughs> okay, yeah. Send her to the all girls Catholic school. Keep it moving. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like it. I respect it. Uh, yeah. Because the private, the regular private school that's not religious is very expensive. Sure. Like we'll send her to the other. Right, right, right. I could see. What's the name of that school? I went to this all girls high school called Louisville. Louisville. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who names a school after Kentucky? Yeah, I li- they're I, like they're like 48th in, wait, in it's reading. Not, it's not St. Louisville or anything like no, that? No, it's just Louisville. And you know who else went there? Christina P. went there, too. Oh, nice. shout out to Christina P. <laughs> shout yeah. out to her. Okay. Wait, so it's just called- She's also trash, though. Is it, yeah, is it, yeah, yeah. Is it Louisville School for Girls or something like that? Louisville. Man, that's wild. <laughs> what was the name of the mascot? Louis C.K. It, it was a uh, Royals. What is a Royal? The Ro- is that a bird, maybe? The, the Royals? Royals. Yeah, on that? I don't it's a bird. Royals. It's a bird. I don't know what it was. Like the Kansas City Royals. Yes, that's what I would think. Oh, that's wonky. Louisville. <laughs> that's but your wonky. dad did good. So your mom basically didn't work- and did he did he do uh, was the office in the home or did he have an office? He had an office. He got up and went to work every day. Yes. What did your mom do? My mom, when we were little, she stayed home and was a stay at home mom. And okay. then when we got older, she started doing his books. Start doing his books. Yeah. Okay. About how many people work under him at, at, at the law office? Um, it's just he just has a small part, um, a small firm. It's a, he's the main guy. Right. Okay. Just him, and then he has his uh, secretary. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. It's got real better call yeah, Saul. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Does Bill Burr work for your dad? Right there? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, what kind of ha- what kind of house did you grow up in? Was it like a single family home, standalone house, or an apartment, condo, townhouse? It, it was an, It's a nice house. It's like a four bedroom home that my that's grandpa. Good. My grandpa built it. Really? Yeah. Like he was the construction guy. Yeah, that's how my dad got into doing construction because my grandpa was in construction. Okay. It's your dad's side. Yeah. Right. Okay. So your grandfather, your grandfather did well in construction. Mm-hmm. Was the rest of your family around there? Cousins and stuff like that. Uh, my cousins. <laughs> Yikes! For sure, <laughs> for sure, trash. Sure. <laughs> How many brothers and sisters? Do I like that she's selling everybody out in the family. <laughs> I don't talk to them. Well, once they start trolling you on YouTube, you can drag them on any podcast. Oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is your dad's side of the family. Yeah. So you guys aren't close. No. Okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. How about the mom's side of the family? Big family, small, small. family? Both of them have very small families. And gotcha. Are they both from L.A. County as well? My mom's from Queens. Your mom's from Queens? My mom's from Astoria. Really? Yeah. Shout out I live to in it. Astoria. Shout out to oh, it. Oh, Of yeah. course. Maybe you can meet a lawyer one day. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down in California. Start keeping his books. I like it. Let's go. Where did they meet? They met. Okay, so my, this is, this is going to be maybe trashy. Sounding. Sure. Okay. Which so, is typically trashy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's real classy. It just sounds trashy. <laughs> so my, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this in a way that makes sense so it doesn't sound like we're in <laughs> That's a red okay. flag right uh- <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I swear to God, she's not, they're, they're, they're not cousins. I probably- <laughs> Okay. So uh, my mom lived in New York and my mom's aunt moved to LA and got married. Okay. When she came to LA to visit her aunt. Okay. She met her aunt's new husband's son. That's my dad. That's, yeah, that's inbred. No, oh, it's not inbred because it's different sides of the family. But you're saying by law, it's still taboo <laughs> either way. Wait that's a minute. That's still. So your aunt married somebody who already had kids from a previous marriage. Yes. And then. Who's my grandpa? Who's your grandpa? <laughs> Wait. My aunt's husband. Okay, so my aunt's husband yeah. 
is my grandpa because wait <laughs> yeah that's not right no, that that's... No, wait no, it what is. it's different we gotta cut this what are we doing <laughs> it's different sides i would be trolling you too if i was one of your <laughs> wait a minute hold it's on different sides of the family your mom's aunt i need a tree okay here. so my mom grew up in new york and her yes. aunt grew up in new york her aunt moves to la meets a dude all right hold on let's just give them fake names just so i can so aunt trish Aunt Trish moves to. Uh, that'd who, be crazy was, if I guessed it. I'm sorry. Who was your <laughs> mom? Works actually. <laughs> who was your mom's sister? My it's my mom's aunt. Your mom's so my aunt. great aunt. Yeah. yeah okay. So okay. your great aunt. So Aunt Trish, your mom's aunt Trish moves out to California. Meets Steve. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Steve has kids. Two kids. Two kids. Bill and Nancy. Uh huh. Bill and your mom meet. Meet. Get married. So they're technically step cousins. <laughs> if a train no. from New York leaves the same time as a train from LA, are you inbred? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this Louisville's really wait, starting so, to make sense so, now. So wait, hold on. So that guy is your grandfather in the sense of he's yes. your step grandfather, really. He's my grandfather because he's my dad's dad. Right. Your mom's your mom's uncle by marriage is your dad's dad. Yes. Okay. Then what does that make the aunt? trashy <laughs> <laughs> she's she's my great aunt but then also in some ways my grandma wow <laughs> oh, shit. you're way too cool about that <laughs> you have an auntie grandma yes. i still can't really grandma. get my head around it. <laughs> I, I got it i'm there and it's not a good place so don't, <laughs> don't meet us down here save yourself <laughs> Your, your mom. You can just, wrap this up. <laughs> I feel. Your mom married your aunt's husband's Son. kid Step from son. a previous marriage. Yes. So how does that make him your grandfather, though? Oh yeah, it, that is at his. Yeah. Your aunt married your grandfather. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes. And you're not even from the south. This Holy is crazy. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Look by your own rules in the valley, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Well, you're down in the count already. I, just want to <laughs> I started out you're, strong, but yeah. unless one of them's a queen, it's, it's really going to be tough to bounce. <laughs> it's going to be tough to bounce back from, Sarah. Man, how did they explain? When did they explain that to you as a kid? They explained it to me, and they said it's going to seem confusing. <laughs> <laughs> they were right. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are your eight years old, Sarah? Sit down and put on a pot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what do your parents say? What do your mom and dad think about it? Whatever it is, they what think it is. it's they think it's normal because yeah. Okay, it's it's from a previous marriage. There yeah. is no blood. Yeah, there's no blood. It's from a previous marriage. I don't know. Because huh. my grandpa was married three times. This was his last wife. Gotcha. Okay. The most All recent right. one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of like what happened in Clueless, right? I guess that was stepbrother. <laughs> Then she, she got together with Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd yeah. was a neighbor. What are you talking no, about? No, uh, it was, was the son of her pre his the previous stepmom. R but he the dad the uh, uh, the dad wasn't I Paul know. Rudd's dad. Yeah, so it would be stepson. Right. Yeah, they were step siblings. That's where those videos are coming from on my computer. <laughs> That's where it all started. I don't know. He had a lot of cash and clueless, though. Hmm. All right. Yeah, this is just, yeah, this whole inbred thing's distracting <laughs> me. Yikes. That is a bombshell. That um, might be a guys, first. That might you be guys, a first. I love the way you guys are processing this information. It's, a lot. it's funny to be on I the other never side guessed. of it because I don't identify as being inbred. Well, but you now, should. Now that I'm you sitting should. at the table with you guys, I go, hey, maybe this is why I'm a comedian. Yeah, I don't identify with being inbred. <laughs> Her tooth just falls yeah. out as she's saying it. <laughs> Do, does your. Uh, I, mean, I was going to ask the last time you went to a flea market, so <laughs> we're fucking in it now. Does your mom and your dad still live in the same house you grew up in? Yes. Okay. Um, so without giving too much away, is it a street? Is it a road? Is it an avenue? avenue? It's an avenue. It's an avenue. Avenues okay. Are all right. That's be all not right. bad. Yeah. Cul-de-sac involved anywhere? No cul-de-sac. No cul-de-sac. Hmm. Um, <laughs> four bedroom house. Do you have a garage? Yep. Did you have a refrigerator in the garage? Yep. Nice. What was in there? Lots of sodas. Okay. <laughs> nice. Lots of like Diet Cokes, Dr. Brown's soda, Whoa. black cherry. That's a little bit of cash. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> uh, what was the pool situation? You guys have a pool? We added a pool later. In, uh, above ground or in ground? In ground. Classy. Any hot tub action on that? We have a hot tub. Connected really? or, sti or connected? Stonework. Right. Stonework. All right. Is there a waterfall well, involved? Yeah, there's a waterfall. 
Damn. Really? Yeah. Can I come over? What's happening? Yeah, I apologize for the inbred. <laughs> well, they kept all the money in the family. <laughs> 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 That's how you protect a fortune, okay? <laughs> I watch the crown. I know what's going on. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, that's nice. Okay. All right. I like how you just said you were inbred and then you're like, I got a hot tub. We're like, whoa. <laughs> Forget about all that other stuff. <laughs> What about, um, what was the grocery store situation growing up? Where would your mom shop? Gelson's. That's pretty clean. It's all right. That's okay. All right. But sometimes we go to, sometimes Ralph's. Okay. Ralph's, Gelson's, and then if, for paper towels and stuff, Smart and Final. Because it's cheaper. It's cheaper. Smart okay. and Final. Yeah, you guys just That fit. does not sound I have good. a feeling they have a no refund policy. <laughs> <there. laughs> Yeah. Smart and final. Smart yeah. and get out. Yeah. Wow. Is okay. that a grocery store as well, or is that more like? No, uh, that's pretty trashy. Smart and final. Hmm. Well, if anybody doesn't know know the LA area, Gelson's and um, Ralph's, they're both they're they're. Gelson's is they're not way bad. nicer than Ralph's. I know, but st- even <laughs> even Ralph's is not bad. Yeah, Ralph's is not bad. Smart and final is a chain of warehouse warehouse style food and supply stores. Based in Commerce, California. Supply okay. store. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what was the name of the pizza place you guys went to growing up? Um, a meat? No. Mulberry Street. Mulberry Street Pizza? That yeah. sounds pretty good. Man. Sounds all right. Walking in both worlds. <laughs> uh, any pets growing up? Yes. We had a cat. Okay. And then a dog. Standard? Not at the same time. No. And mm. a few goldfish. Rest in peace. <laughs> From carnivals. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that lived too long. <laughs> it wasn't like, too long. They lived like two weeks. No, this carnival goldfish lived for about eight years. No way. Yes, no I swear. Way. I swear. Your, mom, your parents were replacing it when it died. I swear to fucking no God. No it was way. a carnival goldfish and it lived for about eight years. That's impossible. I swear to God it was one of the strong ones. No way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. oh my God. No way. Yes. That's impossible. That would, that would be the Guinness Book of World Records. If well, that then maybe we made it. <laughs> um, what's your sister do now? My sister works for a, comp- a tech company. Okay. Very nice. Uh, did you go to college? Yes. Where'd you go to school? At Chapman University in Orange County. Chapman University. Hmm. Okay. Not familiar, but it sounds like a nice establishment. It was. It was very fucking boring. Where else did you apply to? I applied to a lot of places. I applied to Emerson. Didn't get in. Okay. I applied to... I don't even know where else. LMU didn't get in. USC, UCLA. I didn't get. I didn't even apply to USC or UCLA because <laughs> I knew. Save the two hundred dollar <laughs> fee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not writing all those essays. Uh, I barely got into Chapman. Okay. They have a fifty eight percent acceptance rate. <laughs> At Chapman. <laughs> That's more than fucking CHI Institute. Holy shit! The, the, I heard the rise forty eight. <laughs> Did you play any sports growing up? Uh, soccer. Okay. But I was never good. Okay. But I had heart. Okay. I, had, I, thought, you were, I thought you were gonna say I had heart problems. <laughs> uh, what were the family vacations Ask like? Your grandma in right? about that. Family vacations. Okay, one time we rented an RV. Oh boy. And are we doing this at like you said? So you're not too close to your extended family. So in these situations, the holidays, vacations, it's just it's just the one. Four of you. Just the four of us. Just the four of you. Yeah. Okay. okay. The four of us, we rented an RV one time. We drove up the California coast. Mm-hmm. That was fun. That seems nice. It's not bad. Yeah. Who drove? Your mom or your my dad? dad? Yeah, My dad. dad. Um, And then we would go to Palm Springs a lot. Sounds nice. A lot of very close vacations. Close Nothing Weekends, very far. Kind of stuff, yeah. okay. You hit Disneyland? Yeah. Go to Disneyland? Ever go to Disney World? No. Never went to Disney World. Disneyland a lot. Okay. Disneyland a lot. What's a lot? I mean like- Like once a year? Yeah, once a year. Okay. Would you say you're Disney people? Like, are your parents big in the Disney? No, but I hate to say this out loud. I like Disney. That's okay. This is all That's right. Okay. I live close to Disneyland in college, and I had a season pass. I ride a ride and Whoa. then go to class. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go to <laughs> Disneyland on your lunch break? Yeah. Eee. That's uh, wild. Yeah. Okay. Season huh. pass, but like, okay, Space Mountain. What's a What's a season pass set you back over there at Disney? I mean, now it's probably way more, but then it was a thousand about, bucks or something. No, it was closer to two hundred. Oh, two hundred bucks. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay, that's more bang for your buck. You're just that's smart money right there. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about them true classics, baby. True 
classics. Let's talk about the best T-shirt in the biz. I got one on right now. Not even lying. Yeah, holiday season's coming up. You want to have a little milk and cookies? You want to dig into a couple of snacks? Go ahead, because True Classics has you covered. Uh Because here's the juice. Here's the turkey. They make them T-shirts for guys with a certain body type. When you get a regular T-shirt, True Classic. Cut for a portly fella. Cut for the big boys, man. They keep the sleeves a little bit lower. You feel like it. You feel like an ex-college football player when you put one on. Dude, I slide. Thick but trim. I slide one of those things on, man. You feel like Superman. You feel like a million bucks. So, gang, do yourself a favor. Get Uh over to True Classic. Pick yourself up. The greatest T-shirt ever. Yeah, they got polos, workout shirts, boxer briefs, the whole nine yards. They got it in sizes all the way up to triple XL. And right Woo! now, you get 25% off at trueclassics.com slash garbage. Free shipping included on purchases over 100 bucks. Look at that. That's $25 off true. 25, 25, sorry, 25% off at trueclassic.com slash garbage. Santa won't be the only one slaying thanks to True Classics. Get, <laughs> yeah. some, get some tail with True Classics. That's what I'm talking about. Kip, how about that manscape? Ah, manscape. Talk about something you can easily slide in the stocking this year. Uh-huh. Do yourself a favor, ladies. Get your guys straightened out. Get them to Manscape 4.0. Plus, they got the platinum package you can set yourself up with. Let them trim the hedges down there. You know what I mean? Guys, they got it all. The, he's, the big man said platinum. Platinum package 4.0. They got the lawnmower body trimmer. They got the weed whacker nose and hair, hair trimmer. They're waterproof. You can shave anywhere, underwater. Clean your balls, fellas. Guys, what are we doing? Run a tight ship. Yeah. It's fucking 2022. Nobody wants to be going down on you come up with a fur ball. You yeah. know what I mean? We're all friends here. If you had a booger, we would tell you have a booger in your nose. Your nuts stink. Yeah. So clean them up. Trim tighten, the hedges. Tighten up the bush. Freshen it up. They also got a premium, ultra premium body wash, ultra premium two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and ultra premium deodorant. And check it out right now. You get twenty percent plus twenty percent off plus free shipping with code garbage at manscape.com. That's twenty percent off plus free shipping with code garbage at man manscape.com. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. What about the injuries as a kid? Break anything? Crack my head open. You don't say. <laughs> 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 Who says it like that? Yeah. Crack my head Only open. Only Vietnam vets talk like that. <laughs> How'd you crack your head open? On a step. Okay. Uh, it was a uh, m- like a marble step. I went like this. My mom put a gate up, and she went upstairs, and I went to go get her, and I just fell Ooh, and tried to get the, over the gate. Hit the step. Yeah. This was in the home. This was at home. Yeah. You had marble. Yeah. Huh. Pretty good. Not bad. Well, in construction, built the house. You get good deals on <laughs> yeah, it. It's... Stitches. Stitches, yeah. Any? Did you? Did you actually crack your skull at all? No. Just some stitches. Just some stitches. Okay. Hmm. Did you uh, drink milk with dinner when you were growing up? No. Okay. We were. A, my mom doesn't like milk, so we didn't drink milk. When no dinner. milk. Hmm. What would you drink when you sat down at dinner? Uh, water, orange juice, maybe a black cherry. Dr. Brown. Sure, okay. Is it orange juice at yeah. dinner? Yeah. <laughs> or his that's, face. Cr- that's crazier than milk. It's <laughs> wild. Get an iced tea, lady. Will you? <laughs> okay. Uh, ever arrested as a kid? No. Never arrested as an adult? No. Okay. Okay. Pulled over. <laughs> sure. Gone through DUI things. Had to walk in a line before, but never arrested. Nice. Okay. There you go. Knock on wood. But uh, pennies on your tongue, they say. Is that true? No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the holidays. Your yeah. dad's Jewish. Your mom was Catholic. Uh-huh. Uh, what did you guys celebrate? Christmas. You did Christmas. Did yeah. you do anything Jew- with, 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 the, with the Jews? Yeah. No, not really. <laughs> no. Okay. Sometimes no. there'd be a dreidel or two. Sure. Maybe what, Hanukkah Harry or something. <laughs> yeah. What about a bat mitzvah? No. No bat mitzvah? No. The, Sweet the, 16? Yes. Really? Ooh, what was that looking like? It was just at a nice, it was at this French restaurant in the valley. Okay. Huh. It was small. Who, how many people, like friends or just friends. friends? Friends. It was probably under 20 people. Okay. Do you remember what the haul was on that? What you, what you made? Cash how wise? How much money you got? Oh. Did you get any big gifts? Did your, did I got your parents a lot give you like 10 ju- grand? I got, no, I didn't get anything like that. Okay. I didn't get bought mitzvah level cash okay. ever. Man, um, there's nothing better than it. I know. Uh, maybe I should get one now. Yeah, you should have one. Yeah, <laughs> after the bat mitzvah and the bar mitzvah. This kid's uh, man. Eight, so much money. I know. Yeah. I know. Um, no, I didn't get a lot of money. You got a bunch it. of jewelry. You I said. got some jewelry. 
Yeah. Okay. Probably reasonably priced jewelry, sure. like a two hundred dollar bracelet. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing crazy. Crazy. No, yeah. Nothing no to, drip. No, no diamonds. No. No real ice. <laughs> yeah. No ice. Okay. When did you get your first job? Uh, when I was fifteen. Nice. And what was that? Abercrombie. Oh, okay. You worked retail. Yeah. Not bad. And All then, right. Yeah. And then I worked at Saddle Ranch. What's that? Is that right? Is that right next to the store? Yes. When I was nineteen, I worked there. It's this Western dive bar steakhouse, yeah, right? Yeah, chop house, yeah. and they we've walked by. And you oh, can ride, yeah. you can ride the bull there. Okay, I would sell bull rides. That's what you did. Yeah, you weren't a waiter. Or no, it was the hostess How? slash bull ride saleswoman. What does a bull ride saleswoman do day to day? <laughs> Give me a rundown. She goes. <laughs> And what's the insurance package like on something like that? Okay, well, first of all, I had to say they also, it was all about upselling at Saddle Ranch. (laughs) All sales is, yeah, of course. (laughs) So they would give me certain phrases that I'd have to say. Uh So I would see people and then I'd say, you should try the cobbler. It's like the reason I work here. And then I'd walk away, even though I never had the cobbler once. (laughs) Um, Yeah. The reason (laughs) I work here. Um, And then, yeah, I would sell bull rides. People, I'd be like, what's up? You guys having fun? You want to get on the bull? Come to, yeah, come over here. I'll send you guys Did you, you get a up. commission or anything? Uh, no, but there was a tip thing, and uh, the girls who sold the bull rides, we'd make a lot. I'd make a good amount of money. I did this job for the summer. In was it like a flirty thing? Would you find guys and be yeah. like, hey, what's yeah. up? And they try to impress the, the cute girl. Yeah, the bull yeah, rides. yeah. Let's Man, get you on the I bull. I would have been on that bull in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Squeeze a bicep. You're up there. Snap your neck. <laughs> oh, where's the bull? I got tased one time to impress a girl. You were, uh... <laughs> I did, true story. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 were yeah. you living at your parents while you were doing this? Yes, because it was the summer in between college. And you graduated? Semester. Yeah, I graduated. What was the major? Communications. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the poster situation in the room as a kid? A poster situation? Poster. Any posters on the wall? I don't think we had any posters, no. Really? We're poster free. Huh. Huh. The, poster the wine free tanks people. were poster free. Okay. What was on the walls in your bedroom as a kid? There was a border around, you know how- Is it in the middle of the room or the top? The top. Was it wood, like crown molding? There was crown molding, but underneath that, my mom put up this fucking weird border, and it was all these kids, and they were had um like bicycles and wagons, and it went around- How the, old were you when she put it up? When you were when a When I was a baby, okay. yeah. And then I would have nightmares that those people came alive and were trying to kill me. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, that's pretty classy, though. So okay. you had no posters on the wall. Um, as a kid, mm-hmm. what was your was your bed a single bed or a double bed or a queen or what'd you queen. have? Queen. Queen. Yeah. You had a queen bed. Yes. As a kid. Yes. Rich kid in a valley. She got a is. Queen. She's a rich kid in the valley. <laughs> uh, grow, growing up there, did you at any point as a kid try to impersonate a, a celebrity, like tell someone you were someone's kid to get into a restaurant or anything like that? No. Did you ever rob anything from Paris Hilton's house? No, no. but I'm friends with someone who did. In that documentary? <laughs> yes, I'm friends with her, Alexis. Really? <laughs> yeah. Damn, shout <laughs> out to it. <laughs> yeah. Man, this, they went on a shopping spree this year. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because they were Valley kids. Yeah. As a kid right. in high school, did Damn. you ever go to any crazy That's Hollywood sick. parties? I would go to clubs all the time before I started doing stand-up mm-hmm. when I was probably around 18, 19, 20. Like that whole period, I okay. would be out. I'd be out. I'd see Lindsay Lohan. I'd be like, oh, I'm a part of this. Uh-huh. I'm yeah, a I'm part close. of I'm We're in the same. Yeah. In the vicinity of. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It would be Nicole Richie, Lindsay Lohan, those types of things. Really? And different on different days, there was different clubs. Right. Gotcha. And then I'm like, I need something else to live for besides. How would you get to- in? Did like a promoter, somebody you text, hey, we're here, yeah. that type thing? Yeah. yeah okay. okay. All right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what was your first concert? Uh, Kenny Loggins in Vegas. <laughs> Who are what? you? Yeah. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Did you go? She's just your... so yeah. I hang out with Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan. Kenny Loggins. Concert. You weren't your parents. I was with my parents. Yeah. Okay. You guys were in Vegas. We were in Vegas on a vacation. On a vacation. Left that out, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Did you drive right. there or fly there? We flew. Okay, that's the classier. How old were you when you went? Probably around ten. Ten. They took you to Las Vegas <laughs> yeah. they on a family Vegas vacation for like, hey, let's go for the weekend. No, we went on a vacation, but like f- to Vegas. Now that I say it out loud, it's pretty Wild. weird. Did you stay in a hotel? Yeah, we stayed in Mandalay Bay. <laughs> also, let's put a pin in that real quick. Yeah, you just recently went on a timeshare pitch. 
Oh yeah, no, that's coming up. I I got. Well, you haven't gone yet. No, it's coming up in January. Explain this. I need the details. Okay, on this. so after Skank Fest, mm-hmm. my good friend Josh Potter gives me a little bit of Xanax before my flight. Okay, uh, shout at, out to that Josh Potter. <laughs> I'm at I'm at the Golden Nugget, mm-hmm. minding my own business, waiting for my <laughs> waiting for my start. That's how it always starts, sister, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm at the Golden Nugget, minding my own business. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Papa Giorgio over here. I'm at the Golden Nugget. All right. Mind my own business, yeah, waiting sure. for a latte to come out. It comes out, and in, in the in-between time, this guy who's just posted up over here comes across and goes, can I interest you in a luxury VIP vacation? And at this and you're point- you're sold. I am so fucking tired from Skankfest and New York and Is all it- of it that I'm like, a vacation? And he goes, yeah, what are you here for? I go, comedy festival. He's like, oh, I got a VIP thing because you're here with the comedy festival. But his pitch was so fucking good. And I was like, whatever. He's, he's just some guy. At, he's just some guy at the bar. He's some guy who has a little desk set up inside the Golden Nugget next to the Starbucks where I'm waiting for my drink. Wait, is that where we stay too? Probably. Yes, it was. Okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. The Starbucks that was yes, next to the Chick- Chick-fil-A. Yeah, the yeah. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> yes. Man, Which I don't bamboozled. think <laughs> I did. I got bamboozled outside the Chick-fil-A slash That's Starbucks. Wild. That's probably the why Nugget. that Starbucks took so goddamn long <laughs> so they can prey on you while you're waiting. <laughs> Shit. And I don't think that Chick-fil-A was serving Chick-fil-A chicken because it smelled way different. <laughs> Keep, that was Popeyes or something. Keeps, uh, he, keeps, he kept I saying do. that every time. <laughs> Smell some cornmeal or something. <laughs> okay. All right. So you so you have to go. So uh, how did he close you? He said for one ninety nine. I said I'm listening for one hundred and ninety nine bucks. He said one hundred ninety nine dollars. You got a three night four day vacation. I said I could use a vacation. He Let says, me tell you. <laughs> says, Let me grab my latte. I'll be right over in your <laughs> office. Where, where do you have to go for the pitch? So I'm going to Sedona, baby. Oh, so you had to go back to Vegas. No, ah. Sedona's in Arizona. Wait, you have to go to Arizona to hear the pitch? Oh, I'm going on vacation. And they give you the vacation for $200, but then on the third day of oh the my vacation, God, and you're actually they going? lock you. Well, because I want the vacation. Are you sure that you're not going to get kidnapped or anything like that? This I'm is bringing all about a red vest, Henry. <laughs> he was authorized. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going on this vacation. They're going to give me a 120-minute presentation did you or did you already like pay for it you put your credit card I paid, all that stuff? I paid for the 199 vacation but i haven't committed to the timeshare when i get there from what i hear is going to be bad yeah they should really... i not go should i just take the loss you guys should definitely film it a hundred vlogs i know, shit I, know out of that. I know wait do, do they pay for your flight too no uh, so you have to pay for your own flight. Yeah. What What's is that Se- what is Sedona? I'm not familiar. It's in Arizona. It's like a a lot of hippies go there. Okay. There's a whole <laughs> there's energy vortexes in Sedona, oh, and because I'm kind of a hippie too. Sure. Like the part of LA I live in is a hippie okay. canyon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm there to get my chakras. Get get everything lined <laughs> get, up. Get get it all I mean? lined up. And it. then they're gonna pitch you a timeshare. In is it in that area the timeshare? I don't know how what's going to happen. They're going to lock I, me I, in a room for 120 minutes, but I know it's bad because they are giving me a $150 Visa gift card. And that can't be good if they're giving me a $150 gift card. No, but listen, I'm going for the $150 gift card, sweetie. I mean, after that point, you're only in for 40 bucks or whatever. Yeah. That's a watch. You're definitely walking out of there with a fucking timeshare. <sighs> Yeah. You guys laugh now, but <laughs> when you're when you're hanging out of my time hanging chair. out of my sweet ass time chair. <laughs> Pretty nice, ain't it, fat boy, huh? <laughs> I get this two weeks every nine years. Ooh, All right. wild. Oh god, Man. this one's you guys, spooky, are, spooky. <laughs> you guys it's funny watching you guys. I've never had your... somebody so confidently say the wild ass shit things you say. <laughs> I've never heard anybody that got suckered into something like that in the lobby of a hotel. A week ago. Like this wasn't even like <laughs> <laughs> this is literally. Two I was weeks just ago. out of college. I had no something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know what time. You know what timeshares are, don't you? Oh, no. You know. Okay. I didn't grow up <laughs> around timeshare well, you're energy. Fi- you're gonna find out. I'm not 100 percent what they are either. I know it's a ripoff. Yeah. And then you sign you to a long term deal. Yeah. And so they, they sign you up. It's like, hey, if you give me. Well, hold whatever. on a second. Just to be. Don't do it. Don't you know sign that, I'm right? not doing All it, right. but I'm scared to go there after they lock me in the room. I don't know what's going to happen. I think they might starve me, brainwash they're me. They're going to stuff po- you in a Phoenix shipping container <laughs> and they're going to send you to San Juan and sell you to <laughs> pay you yeah. human traffic. You guys, should I not go? I want the vacation. What's the name of the company? Hilton. 
Wait, Hilton is the Shep. It all comes back Diamond, to Paris Hilton. Diamond Resorts, Hilton, Timeshare. Okay. Huh. It sounds above board. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not doing it. All right. But I want the three day vacation. Sure. But at what cost? At this point, well, I probably could have just booked a normal vacation you booked, without well, the yeah. trauma. Yeah, for sure. I would say if you get there, as long as you're allowed to like pick your own room, like not like it, it's not like if you get there and they already have a room key for you mm-hmm. at the hotel, I would probably get the fuck out of there. Then I'm already there. Right? What do you mean? I mean, yeah, but you well, don't want to. bringing Kim I, with me. I think it's all going to be up on. Oh, Kim's going? Kim's going. She'll gonna... choke out whoever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's I mean, why. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. okay. yeah, right. I'm the idiot. I bring I Kim. I'm bringing a bodyguard. My muscle. <laughs> I got to bring sure. my muscle. Of course. Of course. She got the earpiece in. Yeah. <laughs> don't bring Potter. He's bu- He'll be talking to a wall <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> 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 Josh Potter was so fucked Fuck, up. I just bought a car wash. As, God, as, God. <laughs> was so fucked up as getting busy. He came up to me and he, he get Jeff Potter got this close to my face. He goes, Kevin, is that you? I go, you better fucking hope it's me. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be real weird if it wasn't. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shout right, out to Mr. Potter. Each other. I love him. Uh, uh, all right. Let's fucking, she's bamboozled on us here. Um, Crazy. You got, you got, were, you, were you a Crystal Light family growing up? No. Hmm. No Crystal Light. I wish. Doc Brown's is pretty nice. Although your dad being Jewish. Kind of cancels it out. A little bit. <laughs> it's like part bit. of the culture. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, it's true. Um, Did he have the celery one by any chance? No. Huh. Okay. Anything in your apartment or your house right now that says live, laugh, love? No. Anything in your parents' house that says live, laugh, no. love? No. Okay. What was the um, lunch situation uh, in school as a kid? Ugh. Was your mom making lunch? She made it. It was wheat bread. A lot of wheat bread happening. Dude, wheat bread in the 90s it was wild. I just wanted to I fit it was in. All right. I would beg. I would say, please just get me white, white bread, bread and bologna yeah. so I could fit in. And mm-hmm. then she gave it to me one time. I was like, this is fucking disgusting. Stinks, yeah. That Stroman <laughs> wheat bread was all right what, back um, in the day. What was on the sandwich? Turkey, mayo, tomato, lettuce. That's pretty That's nice. That's all right. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> what was the chip situation? Goldfish. She'd give you goldfish. Pepper. And the drink? Yeah, pepper. Shout out. And the drink? Fucking- the drink, I don't. I feel like she dropped the ball a little bit on the drink. Okay. I don't remember ever having good drinks. I think just water. Pepperidge Farm is. I mean, you could, she could give you a fucking anchovies and Pepperidge Farm crackers. That's all right. But then she gave me this one thing that I, I think about makes me sick because she gave it to me so fucking much. Those Nature Valley granola bars. Oh, I love those. I hated. I, hated those. I fucking. We hated only got that. the apples and cinnamon ones though. The green ones. Oh, the, I the peanut butter ones were banging. This one was honey. It was the honey kind, Ooh. and it was too. Ugh. Yeah, as a kid, you don't want that. Every yeah. time they're eating fucking Oreos. And Make shit. with the kudos. Let's go. Yeah. They're eating like a badger. No what about thing. breakfast? What would they give you for breakfast at the house? Uh, waffles. You'd have waffles, Eggos. Wheat waffles. Wheat? Nutri-grain waffles, Whoa. I want to say. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds like a shoebox. Yeah. yeah. Those things. Shredded stunk. wheat. Shredded wheat, raisin bran. Not okay. a lot of sweets in the house? No. But then I'd go over to my friends and just binge out. Of okay. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, gotta you gotta get in somewhere, you know. Pop tarts in the house? Only if only on special occasions. What would be a special occasion? <laughs> to roll out the pop tarts. If, if we begged okay. and said, Can we please have <laughs> Pop Tarts and not frosted? Just really? The, just the regular strawberry. Oh, Poor kid. Man. That sucks. I know. Hmm. Those unfrosted Pop Tarts suck. I know. <laughs> we got the, we got the off brand ones called Toastums. They were brutal. <laughs> we were a big Pop Tart family. My dad's house. Uh, how old were you when you got your passport? First time you left the country? Not till college. Okay. Where'd, Where'd you, you go? go? Italy. Italy. Family vacation or just with the no, friends? With the I gang. went to go do an art history class. Oh, that's nice. You stayed over there for a little while? For three weeks. That's all right. What part of Italy? I did Florence, Venice, and Rome. There you go. Toscano. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's pretty classy. Huh. Any beekeepers in the family? No. Any musicians in the family? Mm, well, <laughs> no. Sarah? Uh, well, one time my my cousin tried to record a country song. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I don't know where it is or even how to find it, but I do know that at one point she was like, I'm recording a country song. That's okay. what I was looking for. A, a Jewy Valley cousin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bitch, you're from Calabasas. What's <laughs> happening? Okay. Uh, anyone in your family have a breathalyzer in their car? No. Okay. Ever crash a golf cart? No. Ever crash someone else's car? 
My dad's. You crashed your dad's car? What f- age? <laughs> uh, 16. I was driving it to school. I reversed it into a basketball, our basketball Net. hoop. You had a basketball hoop in the driveway? Uh, yeah. Huh. Who was playing basketball? Yeah, who was playing Me, basketball? Me, for, for like a couple months. Was okay. it a movable one or was it was it concrete in, in the, the ground? It was concrete in the ground. Nice. Sounds pretty good. What mm. kind of car was it that your dad was driving at the time? It was an old uh, 3 Series BMW, but he had it for a really long time. It was the same car that I, he drove me home from the hospital in is oh, the wow. car that I crashed. Okay. Dude, I fucking like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> right sounds now. all right. My dad sounds all right. Yeah. What, uh, what's he whipping now? Um, I I think an infinity. Okay, SUV or, or, s- or sedan? SUV. It's all right. What's your mom drive? A BMW. Yeah, she does. Okay. Mm. okay. okay. What are you whipping it's now? Wonky. A Toyota Prius. Nice. Okay. What year? Twenty. Oh no, twenty nineteen. Very nice. Okay. All right. You got the timeshare. <laughs> um. What's the last book you read? A self help book. Okay. Um. How long ago was it? I just keep reading the self the same self help <laughs> ones. I'm not improving at all. <laughs> um, it was a while ago. Okay. Good. <laughs> Established titles, lords and ladies. Uh, Hello. Yep. I'm your host, H. Foley. I'm a landholder in Scotland. Oh, uh, you don't say. Yeah, and you could be too, gang. With established titles, you could buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land, and you yourself can be called a lord or a lady. It's a good time. It's fun. Makes an absolutely fantastic gift. Do yourself a favor. Get over there to establish titles. Yeah, baby. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using our link will effectively, effectively be next to our plots. Within a few minutes of walking, baby, we can build our garbage kingdom. Let's, That's an empire right there. Let's be neighbors. Mm. Take over Europe. Do what we got to do. Do a little pillaging. Uh, it makes a great last-minute gift for your loved ones. They even have couple packs that come with adjoining plots of land. That's Aww. cute. Oh, look at that. Uh, it makes a great last-minute gift. Like I said, Established Titles is running a Black Friday sale. Plus, if you use the code GARBAGE, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash garbage to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Do it. Do it. Kip, let's talk about Ladder, baby. Ladder! Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. You don't want to leave the fam holding the bag. Do yourself a favor. Do the family a favor. Don't screw them over. This holiday season. You've been doing that your whole life. You're a deadbeat. Everybody knows it. Don't screw them over. Cut your lawn. For God's sakes, call your parents. Pull your pants up. And do yourself a favor and go over and get yourself a little term life insurance (laughs) over there in Lattle. And do yourself a favor. 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage. I don't like needles. I get woozy. (laughs) No hidden fees. You can cancel at any time. You get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days because they're good people over there, Ladder. Their policies are issued by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They're rated A and A plus by AM's Best. I've been on record. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. They know what they're doing. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder L A D D E R Life.com slash garbage. One more time, write it down. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Now back to that show, boys and girls. Back to the show. Do you have a go to karaoke song? No, I don't like karaoke. No. I'm not. I'm not a good singer. If I was a good singer, I'd fucking love karaoke, Build and out, I want to yeah. be doing stand up. Maybe make your own country song. Yeah. Do, do you know, <laughs> uh, okay. Do you know either of the following dance moves? Do you know the Macarena or the Electric Slide? Maybe the Macarena, and okay. I don't know if I know it exactly. I know the Macarena. You do? I was always One, so Maca jealous two, of Maca those three, kids. Macarena. Let's go, hey, baby. Macarena. All right. Um, have you ever owned a George Foreman grill? No. Uh, do you like vanilla Coke? As a kid, I liked vanilla coke. Really? I love it. I haven't had it in years. I love it. Huh. The diner I worked at as a kid, they had vanilla syrup, and you could make your own. That's a little Ooh. different. I went real heavy with can, that stuff. A can stuff tastes like you were drinking a candle. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever gone to a wax museum on family vacation? No. Any mm. old-timey photos? No. No? Have you ever made your own jello shots? Yes. College. Well, college. I'll give you that. You get a pass. Were you in a sorority in college? No. Hmm. When's the, uh, do you go to the dentist on regularly? I just went to the dentist for the first time in four years. Four years. And they were not happy with sure, me. Sure, sure. They really shamed me. Do you floss every day? Yes. Yeah, every day? Yeah, I floss every day. That's not bad. Hmm. What's the deodorant situation? What are you using? Dove. Use Dove. That's what I use. Not Hell bad. Yeah. Toothpaste? Crest. 
Really? Whitening? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Have, have you ever, did you ever work making money trimming weed? No. <laughs> Got an LA, super LA vibe. Yeah, but yeah, also, yeah. I've made money like standing in front of weed, selling weed, being like, hey, buy this flower. At like a Just dispensary? a lot of cannabis, <laughs> random oh, like cannabis jobs of, hey, we need you to come do this marketing job for a cannabis company. Stuff like that. Okay. Through Instagram. Have you ever been a Burning Man? No. Coachella? Yes. You've been to Coachella? <laughs> I've been to Coachella several times. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's not a cheap ticket. So yeah. you're one of those kids. You went with all your friends. In college, yeah. Mm, that's a couple jihads right there. Who was floating mm. the bill for that? The old man? No, I babysat and I used the money from babysitting to okay. go to Coachella. All right. Hmm. Huh. If I went to your house right now and asked for water, what would you give me? Hmm, interesting. Uh, probably <laughs> a jar. Like a mason jar yeah. filled out of the sink? Yeah. Any no, filter? not out of the sink. Not out of the sink. I would pour you it from a, a jug from my fridge because you can't eat drink the tap water in L.A. But the jug would be? Like a plastic jug. Of yeah, water. a plastic jug. Oh, okay. And then I'd pour that into the mason jar for you. No okay. Brita filter. No Brita filter. Huh. Hmm. That's Have you ever had a ring back tone? Like when you call, like if I were to yes. call you, would play a mu- it'd play yes. a song back. It was Aerosmith. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to say crying. Is that the name of his song? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's so oh my weird. God. Yes, <laughs> so right. Oh God! Some guy calling you to break up with you. Like, yeah. uh, how did she know? <laughs> it's also too. That was for one person. You're like, you're gonna hear yeah. this. You'll hear this, Trevor. Because I'm crying. <laughs> that's all well, right. That's an do insane choice. As a ring. When I, th- I haven't thought about that in years. Yeah. Do you okay. get in there, you guys? I know. We really lift up the, <laughs> lift up, turn the stones. Yeah. Growing up, did you keep the butter on the counter or in the refrigerator? Fridge. Kept it in the fridge. What about the ketchup? Was that in the refrigerator? Yes. And the syrup? Pantry. Okay. That checks out. Mm. Do you steal now? No. Nothing like grab a candy bar from 7-Eleven? I did steal a salad, actually, not that long ago. <laughs> so, yeah, you Where? steal. Airport? No. And you're also a liar. I know. <laughs> <laughs> from I was the like, airport? No, it wasn't from the airport. I'll 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 it was from this salad place. Okay, so listen. Money was a little tight this day. So there I am, <laughs> minding my own business. <laughs> at the Golden Nugget. <laughs> minding my own business. It's all back at the Nugget. At the, at the salad place, no. So sometimes I order on the phone, and then they have it ready to go. So mm-hmm. if you just walk in and take it. Mm-hmm. I've done that once. Okay. And I do feel bad about it. I'm well, not why a, do you do that? Just for the rush? I, <laughs> no, because I really didn't have that much money. So I was like, fuck it. And I don't want to make anything. Huh. So I stole a salad. And you, but you're Guys, a- I feel bad about it. Saying it out loud makes <laughs> no, me it's feel. Fine. Wait, okay. you're, you're, but you're at the whim of whatever that person ordered. No, no I call calls, in. Uh-huh. And, and their they system, put it as like to go or whatever. Uh, yeah. And so, and it's with the Postmate orders. So uh-huh. a lot of times people just come get their shit and leave and it's already paid for. Right. But the salad was not paid for, but I just went in and took it like it was paid for. She okay. called, they processed it like a seamless order or whatever. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. And put it over Their there. system. She just walked in and took That's it. That's a little less trashy than just going in and grab somebody else's order that you yeah. don't know what they like on their salad. Yeah, no. It could okay. be like pickles and mayonnaise or something. That's actually a good one, though. Well, <laughs> 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 what just, was the mayonnaise in the house growing up? Was it Hellman's or was it Miracle Whip or Duke's or whatever you guys have out there? Wasn't It, it wasn't any of those. It what? was... Best foods? That's it. Okay. That's, that's the other one. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. As long as it wasn't Miracle Whip. No. Mm. Um, we had Kraft Singles in the fridge. Did you? What color? White or orange? Orange. Not bad. I didn't Not even know ba- they made white ones. Not bad. Yeah. I didn't know they made orange ones for a long time. Um, the bed you're in now, queen size? Queen. Uh, how many pillows are on the bed? Mm. Five. Five. And how many do you sleep with? Just one under your head? Are you holding one? Is one okay. between your legs? I sleep with one pillow, but if I tell you where I got my bed from, it'll probably make you think I'm garbage. I, got I already from- <laughs> think you're garbage. <laughs> um, damn. Uh, I, got I don't it. know what program you've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking timeshare Gosh. Tom over here. <laughs> uh, you, you might have the- forgotten I'm inbred, but what? Uh- <laughs> where'd you get the bed from? Um, my friend who w- was an Ed Hardy designer. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll and Ed that. Hardy, he was he would draw like tigers and stuff on the shirts. Have you ever worn Ed Hardy? You had yes. to in your clubbing days. Yes, I sure. wore Ed Hardy. Von Dutch hat or something. Yes, I had a Von Dutch hat. So just one pillow behind your head. That's it. Yeah, one pillow. Do you sleep on your back or on your side? Mm, 
on my side. All right. Do you have a duvet cover? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a comforter? Yeah. Does it have a cover around the comforter? Yeah, duvet oh, cover. Oh, that's duvet a duvet cover. cover. Okay. What program are you watching? <laughs> I was thinking of the things that go in the bottom of the bed. That's a bed skirt. I ah, thought that was a duvet. Skirt. I think our parents used to call that a duvet. Yeah, they did. I a just skirt? found that out like For a sure. few months ago. Bed like skirt. to cover the... Yeah, we have... I have a yeah. bed skirt. Yeah. Cover the box spring. Uh, do you sleep with a fan on you? Yeah. You do? Mm-hmm. Do you yeah, use your phone as an uh, alarm clock? Yes. Okay. All right. What's the noise you wake up to? Whatever the standard, the standard noise is. Yeah. Normal. Okay. What well, do you have? A, what do you have a ringtone now, or you vibrate? Vibrate. Classic. Okay. Um, hmm. You're brushing your teeth in the shower. I have, but regularly I do it at the sink. And what's a toothbrush? Is it electric or is it regular? Regular. And do you pee in the shower? I have. You have, but not on a regular basis. Well, not. I'm. A, I would say I pee in the shower more than I'm comfortable admitting out loud. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a weird place to draw the line on what you've already admitted. <laughs> <laughs> I made bread and I pee in the shower. <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> Have you or anybody in your family or friends, anybody in your circle ever gone dumpster diving? Okay. There's this sail. It's, it's kind of close to dumpster diving, but it's not really. The, but there's this sail on Sundays at this place called Jet Rag. And they have like, <laughs> they take out huge boxes of vintage clothes and everything's a dollar and they throw it on the sidewalk and then I dig through it. That's okay. I'll give you that. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's not dumpster diving no. necessarily. It's just the way though it's designed. Yeah. Um, hmm. Ever you, smoke weed out of a soda can? Yes. Of course. In the last 15 years? Yeah. <laughs> last year? <laughs> no. Last five years? Mm. No, I, not that I can remember, but it wouldn't be out of the realm of... Bottom. When was the last time you smoked out of an apple? <laughs> an apple, uh, like three years ago. Okay. <laughs> Do you sneak snacks into the movie theater? Yes. Oh, okay. If you had to pick one, Fritos, Cheetos, or Pringles? Pringles. What's your favorite? Mm. What kind? Just the sour cream and onion. That's pretty classy. God. That anything. is the classiest answer out of all of those. 100%. I think it's the classiest thing she said in the last 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, have you ever been an audience member at anything? What do you mean? Like um, Oprah or anything like that? A live TV table. Live oh, TV table. No. Thank you. No. Any family members ever on uh, the local news? No. Anybody, Co family members ever represent themselves in court? No. I guess your dad's a lawyer. No. Okay. Ever cut your own hair? My mom cut my own hair. Your mom cut your hair yeah. back in the day. Okay. On mm -hmm. the regular? Uh, like if I needed a bang trim, Debbie would do it. Okay, <laughs> shout out to Deb. All right. <laughs> that would be trimming these bangs. What's the luggage situation these days? What do you got? It's my parents. I just take it. You just I borrow. I'm borrowing their borrow Samson your luggage? site. Okay, I'm renting my parents' Samson site. Whatever it's Sam called. Samson. <laughs> what the fuck is it called? Samsonite. Samson. I was way <laughs> off. Oh, all right. You're all right. <laughs> are you Are you TSA pre-checked? No, but I've clear. Okay, okay, I'll give yeah. you that. Um, do you take your shoes off on the plane? Yes. Really? Depends on how long the flight is. Like the New York flight, I did because I was like, "Fuck this! Okay. I need to get comfy." What airline did you fly over? JetBlue. Was there a movie uh, involved? Uh, yeah. What'd you watch? I watched some Alanis Morissette uh, <laughs> documentary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Crazy. Do you remember how old you were the first time you had lobster? Yeah, probably a teenager. Okay, that's not bad. Do you have tattoos? Yeah. Have you ever gotten a tattoo not in a tattoo parlor? Yeah, I, I did. I got one at Skankfest Houston. It was so bad. I oh, had to get uh, it covered up. Oh, really? It's been covered up. Yeah, no, it looked like a Holocaust tattoo for sure. <laughs> it was so bad. Sure, your dad was thrilled. Yeah, no, my parents were fucking hated it. So then this year, I had to get it covered up before next year's. Then I have these big tattoos covering up the mistake from Skankfest Houston. What was the tattoo? Pretty good, though. It was my area code. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was an 818 area code. But 818. It, yep. How could that be that bad? It's three three no, numbers. No, they fucked it up. Yeah. Okay, because they made one of the eights like a normal eight, and then the other one was a snowman eight, like two circles on top of each other. Okay. It ended up looking like two snowmen playing table tennis <laughs> by the time it was done. It didn't look like an eight one eight. It was okay. so fucking ugly. <laughs> okay. Um, and I also got a tattoo. Oh, I forgot what this says. Street fair. 
a straight fair tattoo on my neck, a bow. That, on your neck? Jesus yeah, Christ. On the back of my neck. Yeah, a bow. A street fair. At a street fair? Yeah, in LA. <laughs> How much was it? I don't know. I didn't pay for it. My friends were like, um, if we get, if we get, if we find $60 for you to get this tattoo, will you get it? And I said, yes. And then I got it. And it's a bow. So $60. Bad bo- tattoo or good tattoo? I'll let you be the judge. You want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> you want to see it? Yeah. Sure. It's, it's, I think it's somewhere in between. It's not bad or good. It can't, it can't be great, I would say. Oh, that's all right. It's not terrible. It's right? Little, it's not bad or it's good. It's not bad. It's got a little bit of Rikers yeah. Island vibe to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little sing-singy. <laughs> it's a sickle with blood dripping off of it. Yikes. All right. Okay. Do you take anything from the hotel? You take the, the moisturizer, the hair conditioner, anything like that? Depends TV, on, depends radio. Depends on the hotel. Okay. Depends on the brand. If Yeah. At the Golden Nugget, I said, I think I'm good here. <laughs> I'll just take your finest timeshare, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll take a five-year contract if you got it. Can you juggle? No. Do you own a Swiffer right now? Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> are you currently currently stocked in both the wet and the dry? Foods? No, for the for the Swiffer, the pads, the mats. No, I just have the wet ones. Just the wet ones. Do you okay. have a pet now? Yes. What do you have? A dog. You have a doggy. What yeah. kind of dog you got? He's a, he's a super mutt. Okay. Okay. I got one of those. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bunch of different things. He's like husky and an Australian shepherd dog. and So it's a bigger dog. He's a big dog, yeah. Does he get to sleep on the bed with you? Yeah. Is he allowed to be on all the furniture? Yeah. Does he shed everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any dog hair on you right now? No. Okay. Because I don't I've believe been, it, I've but still. Been, no, not now, but okay. it, maybe at some of my clothes back at my hotel. Sure. Okay. Do you roll with a lint roller? If I feel like it. Oh. If I can find the lint roller. Oh, sure. Does uh, all the pillows on your bed have a pillowcase on them? Yes. Hmm. Any uh, male family members of your family, uncles, cousins, dad, have a ponytail? No, but growing up, my cousin did have a rat tail. Yikes. That was the 90s. I'll let it slide. A lot of people made a lot of bad hair decisions Hachi in the 90s. Much. Um, Do you have a complete hmm. set of towels in your house or apartment now? No. You don't? No. Do you have any hand towels? Yes. Okay. One. Mm. I have one hand towel. One. Like yeah. one proper. Yeah. <laughs> one proper hand towel. How yeah. often? Do you have a washer and dryer in your unit? I have it. Yeah, I have it right next to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't usually make probably every cycle, I would assume. The hand towel? Yeah. No, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at my laundry situation. Okay. Mm-hmm. What kind of laundry detergent are you using? Use this weird laundry. I can't think of what. So it's be like called. all natural or something. You got to go like I seventh have, generation. I or have something. sometimes seventh generation, but then I, on a whim, was stoned and I bought this other kind by the Laundress off Amazon. This shit was nice. Yeah. I'm running low. I don't know if I could buy it again. Huh. <laughs> you know what's big that we just got? My wife bought. The, they're like sheets. They're like dryer sheets. Uh huh. You put it. In, it's like just. It's like. Paper soap or something. Like oh, that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't they're know. all right. I'm not. I don't know. It's a little um, hippy dippy for my <laughs> taste. Well, uh, favorite fast food and it can't be In and Out. Taco Bell. Hmm. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Sarah. No, I don't think Thank I you. would. Um, let's see. Hmm. Do you have magnets on the fridge? No. No magnets. No. The shoes off when you go into the house. Depends on my mood. But I'm if people s- come over, you don't say you got to take your shoes off. No. What about growing up? Growing up, I don't think we enforced that, no. Um, really? Could you eat in your room as a kid? No. No, no not allowed to do that. No, but now I eat in my room. Now you eat in your bedroom. Take that, Mom. Yeah. yeah. And where do you eat most of your meals in, in when you're at home? On the couch in front of the TV or in your room? I like eating them in my bed. You eat them in your bed? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have a TV in your room? Yes. Okay. Are you eating it laying down or sitting at the end of the bed watching TV? Laying down. Laying down. Okay. What I'm saying is I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you depressed? I, I eat a lot laying down. <laughs> uh, do you booze a lot? No. No. What's your go-to drink if you had to drink? Tequila. Just straight nice. up tequila, tequila soda? Yeah, tequila soda with a lime. Do you have a tequila you prefer? Yeah, the expensive kind, so I don't feel that hungover. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll give it to you. She's a straight shooter. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, no I think I mean I'm pr- we're pretty good here. I, I mean, feel. of course, yeah. we're just having fun. Uh, now. This is <laughs> just this is all just uh, you know. <laughs> Have you ever? Uh, I just hmm. want to see how deep this goes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Huh. Never been on a cruise? No. But would, would you like to be? <sighs> I kind of want to do one. Part of me feels like it would be fun. <laughs> because for $185 <laughs> right now. If you got it on you. If you have it on you. If, if you can pay cash. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, if you're going out to a nice meal of, at night, uh-huh. will you not eat all day? Yeah. That's Absolutely. Too, yeah. I prepare. Get my money's worth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When was the last time you smoked a black and mild? Never. Never. Okay. Hmm. Um, if you and your friends go out, you splitting the check? Yeah. Splitting the check up. Yeah, we are. Okay. We're All dicing right. that shit up. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no juggling. No juggling. When was the last time you were at a hibachi restaurant? Not that long ago. Yikes. August. Why August? Because I went on a, was date. a birthday. I went on the date with this dude, and he took me to a gun range where I had a panic attack. So then we had to re <laughs> figure something else out. So, so I he went took to have to- a chef <laughs> yell at me and eat at a communal yeah. table. <laughs> yeah. So then we went to a hibachi restaurant because of my which is the highest of anxiety <laughs> eating you could possibly have. There's open flame and a man throwing stuff at you. The onion volcano. I missed the shrimp and I freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why'd you have a panic attack at the gun range? Just because of the obvious, the guns and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, the guns. Did you, know that, did you know that's where he was taking you? No, he surprised me. What the fuck? He surprised me by taking me to the gun range. And on the way there, he goes, okay, so you want to know where we're going? I'm like, sure. He goes, the gun range. And then I go, oh, and I'm not sure I'm going to like that. But oh, if you want to do that, he's like, no, you'll be fine. What and are you talking he, about? You used to ride bulls, right? Yeah. yeah different energy. <laughs> Wild, huh? Okay. Uh, <sighs> Do you ever get? Uh, Do you ever ask for anybody's autograph? Oh yeah. When I tell you whose autograph it was, I remember being a kid. I'm not going to be shocked. We, I remember being a kid, and we went to this local coffee shop, and at night there was a singer that was singing there, some random dude, mm-hmm. and I thought he was so good. I said I asked for his autograph, <laughs> and then adorable. and then the characters at Disneyland. Really? As a kid. As, yeah. a kid. As a kid, I'll give you that. Okay. Um, hmm. Have you ever been involved in a pyramid scheme? I'm like, I'm thinking about it, and I, I want to say no, but then also, based on the timeshare stuff, yeah, I'm like, no, it's I'm not like, that far out of the realm <laughs> of Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ever no. had your identity stolen? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Yep. Take it into the accounts? They, some, they rented a U-Haul <laughs> in my name. And then I got sent the bill. I was like, I didn't rent a U-Haul. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And I got robbed at a Starbucks once, and then they- How? Like I- I was just being a dumb bitch, hanging out at the fountain <laughs> with my purse, like, next to me. Oh, and they just grabbed your purse. This guy ran up, grabbed my purse, and then he went to McDonald's and spent $80. Damn, was 80 it, bucks? Mm-hmm. Was it Henry by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> That's an impressive bill at Mickey D's. Uh, huh. Have you ever skied in jeans? Have you ever gone skiing? No. No, not once. Uh, no. Surfing? Yes. Are you any good or no? No. Mm-hmm. I did it when I was 14. I did an adventure camp because I had a crush on a dude. What's adventure camp? Well, it's where you go to the beach and they teach and you how to surf. Teach, okay. It's like, here's an adventure. <laughs> how did it work out with the kid? I didn't. Did it? Okay. <laughs> he drowned during the, uh, <laughs> during the wakeboarding session. Can you speak any other languages? No. I took, I've taken Spanish so many times. Yeah. I should know, but I, I can't. How'd you do on your SATs? Really bad in math. I think the total score was really low. Ball I part. think it was like a 1020. That's good. I mean, no, that's, that's, good. that's not bad. Out of 1600. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's good. That's good, sir. That is good? Yeah, that's, that's not- all right. <laughs> She's shot. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. That's not bad. Four digits. You're in the four digits. You're, you're barely. The- just barely. All right. Uh, do you cook at the house at all? Yes. You do? Yeah. Now, do you think okay. it's acceptable to, uh, if you're making spaghetti, mm-hmm. to make the whole thing of pasta and, the, and you put the whole jar of sauce, or you just make half of the box? Um, I use all the sauce. You use all the sauce. Will you make the whole box of pasta? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're not in good company. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so is, you there just baking, had a... is there baking soda in your refrigerator? Yes. In your freezer too? No. Have you ever had caviar? Yes. Did you like it? No. No. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think I've ever had it. Have you ever been kicked out of a restaurant? 
I've been carried out of a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we love you, Sarah. <laughs> Ah, that's just a good time right there. I've been carried out of a ball. Yeah. All right, we got to wrap it up. I tried to steal my ex-boyfriend's wallet, uh, and then I got carried out of the bar. Yeah. I've also been carried out of a bar, too, on my day. I've also done one thing, Trashy, I feel, feel like you guys should know about. I brought tuna into a movie theater. Oh. You got to... <laughs> You gotta give it. She did crack her head open as a baby, so maybe, <laughs> maybe she's a little, maybe she's a little wonky. So. Was it a sandwich or in a bowl? It was in a styrofoam cup. Did you make it at the house? No. Where'd where did you get? Where did you get tuna fish? I went to. We had dinner next door to where the theater was, and I had leftover tuna. So I was like, I'll just bring it to the movie theater, and I ate it. And I remember my ex boyfriend looking at me like he was gonna hit me. Not, he was like, <laughs> so not Are tuna, you fucking crazy? That is crazy. That's crazy. Not tuna fish. T- a tuna like tuna like salad. Tuna salad. Yeah. Like, like tuna salad. Like mayo y tuna salad. You had that for dinner? Yeah. Jeez. I mean, that's, that's the craziest. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. You go out to dinner and you get tuna. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Weinshank. Thank, thank you, you so 100% much. Hundred percent trash. Really? Yeah. Hundred and twelve percent. What are you talking? But about? absolutely fucking fantastic. Yeah, thank that you was so amazing. Much. Uh, what do you got coming up? What do you want the folks out there to know? Uh, I'm going to be at the Brea Improv on December 21st with Kim Congdon. We're co headlining, and then we're going to be in Texas. January 6th, we're doing this bitch live from Vulcan, and then we're also co-headlining, and then Arizona at the end of January. That'll be the timeshare. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I scheduled a, a show on the way back from the timeshare. All business is yeah. good, I'll tell you <laughs> yeah. that. Um, and yeah, just follow me at Princess Shank, Instagram and Twitter for more dates. I have a lot of LA dates. I don't know them off the top of my head, but you'll find them all online. And then... I have a patreon.com slash Sarah Weinshank, and I put ad-free content on there, too. Very nice. Unbelievable. Love it. Absolutely amazing. Guys, go see that show with her and Kim. Absolutely fantastic. Uh-huh. Kippy, what do you got for them? Uh, guys, we have a couple of tickets left in Boston, a couple of tickets left in Providence. Uh, get those tickets before they are gone. They are our last shows for the year. Mm. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.